All right, so this is the same exact program as we did in line follow four, but I'm gonna teach you how to do a interrupt within the loop. So what we've done before, we did the previous one, and if you haven't gone back and watched line follow four, I would suggest you do that just to understand the code and how we built it out, because I go through it step by step. But with this one, this is unlimited, meaning that it's gonna constantly just read this line. Now we know that in first Lego league and other competitions, you have to learn how to kick out of line programs. Like you're just not gonna follow a line for the entire two minutes and 30 seconds. So what this program can do is we're gonna, we're gonna change a few things. So just go ahead and copy the exact code you did from previous one, line follow four, and you're gonna have this look here. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna change the loop. Or before it was on unlimited, we're going to move this to a count of one, meaning that it's going to go through this loop one time until it gets interrupted. And we'll explain that here in just a second. Then we're going to add one more loop. So we had the loop here where we we're gather gathering our reading for coffee, doing our calculations. So it's going to take that threshold number. We're going to subtract numbers. We're going to multiply by 0.5 to get our speed to control motor A. And then the exact same thing for motor B, except for plugging it in for the white threshold value, multiplying it, getting our speed for B. And this allows the robot to run nice and smooth. What we're going to do here, though, is we're going to add another loop block. And so I've added a loop. What I've done then is that I've gone and added a wait block, as you can see right here. And we're going to wait for the color sensor for the reflected light intensity. And what we're doing here is we're waiting for it to be less than or equal to, and we've got 10. And when it gets to that threshold, 10 below is where my robot detects black, we have put in a loop interrupt block right here. It's going to kick us out of this loop. And when that happens, just count of one is all done. Now the key here <coughs> is this, if you look here, this is port two. So I have two light sensors or color sensors on my robot. When we were up here, we're getting the reading from one. Down here, this is number two. And so while this sensor here is reading, allowing my robot to move and stay nice and smooth on the, on the robot, I've got another sensor waiting to detect a black line. And when that happens, it's going to kick ourselves out. And so in the video, you're going to see it moving around the same line that you've seen now in the previous videos. But I put a piece of black tape because a lot of times in competition, we'll have those markers automatically out on the board. And so you have to kind of use your strategy a little bit. And from there, when that other sensor picks up black, it'll turn the motors off and away we go to our next mission. So let's take a look at that, and this is just one more layer into our line follow program to become a better strategic team and get things done that we want to get done. So what it's doing is it's reading the sensor port one, and it gets a light reflection reading. It stores in this block I call it coffee, and then it loops. In the loop, then it keeps doing these. So in here, it's taking the number, that block, whatever that reads, and it's adding it here. And it's subtracting from what I, I did like thresholds where I, how, how the robot reads, mm -hmm. black or white. 